Sultana sweeps Sun Devils in Mojave River League basketball. This high school sports online report brought to you by Juice It Up in Hesperia's Gateway Shopping Center. Sultana led by coach Jay Harry. Apple Valley under coach Joel Lewis. Apple Valley's early points come from the free throw line. The Sun Devils attack aggressively, usually before the defense sets up. Sheldon Lovett accounting for the game's first points. L.J. Harry responds for the Sultans. His three puts the home team ahead, three to two. Apple Valley regains the lead on Lovett's next two free throws. Lovett's inadvertent assist to Zachary Patterson puts the Sun Devils up 6-3. Albert Brady from beyond the arc, 9-3 Sun Devils. This will be their biggest lead of the night. Dijon Clofia gets the shooter's bounce on his first basket of the night to ignite Sultana's fight back. Sofia follows with the jumper. It's 9-7, Apple Valley. Five minutes in, Clofia's drop shot gives Sultana the lead, 11-9. The lead recaptured by the visitors on the next pair of Sheldon Lovett free throws, 13-11, Apple Valley. The Sun Devils extend their lead to 15-11 on Patterson's breakaway off the Elbert Brady feed. David Hamilton's three cuts the lead to one. Apple Valley's on top, 15-14, entering the second quarter. DeAnthony Hamilton comes off the bench and has an immediate impact. First basket of the second quarter, Apple Valley 17-14. 6'3", 260-pound, Maki Redig, number 12, another kind of impact on the screen, then the recipient of Deshaun Lee's behind-the-back pass, Sultana's within two, 17-15. The Devils' defense gets harried by back-to-back -back threes from L.J. Harry, and Sultana has a 22-17 lead. They will never again trail. We're three and a half minutes into the second quarter. Dijon Clofia's short jumper completes a 10-point Sultana run. It's 24-17. Lovett runs interference and hands it off to DeAnthony Hamilton, breaking Sultana's 10-0 run. Hamilton averages 14 rebounds a game. Tonight, he scores 11 for the Devils. Amir Lamar to Elbert Brady, whose jumper brings the Sun Devils back within three, 24-21. Mason Kelly gets it to DeAnthony Hamilton after a Sultan's three. Now it's a four-point Sultana lead, 27-23. Sheldon's signature quick release from beyond the arc brings Apple Valley back within one, 27-26. Sheldon Lovett averages 26 a game. As he did to end the first quarter, David Hamilton sends down a three to break the Apple Valley rally. It's Sultana 32, Apple Valley 26 at halftime. The impromptu halftime show, Air Artistry a la a very young player, brings up a point to be made about the Sultana students and fans. They are as well-versed as any local high school crowd at responding with oohs and ahs as if on cue at the appropriate time, most often responding to the Sultan's feet. Evan Anderson gets the first basket of the second half, and Sultana Cheer responds in kind. Sultana fans will have a lot to cheer about the second half as their team pulls away. Javante Kirkwood's off-balance offering goes. Apple Valley will have its moments. The Anthony Hamilton with the steal and assist on their Lamar. Apple Valley's within four, 34-30 here, but that's the closest they will get the rest of the way. By quarter's end, Sultana's lead is 44-32. Sultana's defense very often creates the scoring opportunities. Sophomore Frank Burtz with the steal to senior Evan Anderson. It is defense to which leading scorer Dijon Clofia alludes in post-game comments. Uh, we're just working on playing defense and getting on man and playing under control and learning how to win. 
as a team and being unselfish, making the right passes, make smart decisions. The Sichuan senior will have scored from nearly every attacking point on the floor by night's end in accumulating a team high 24 in the 60-50 win. As for the Palace, fans plenty of opportunities to respond either impromptu or on cue. L.J. Harry gives him one final ooh moment on this move to the basket, closing out his 13-point performance. Sultan's Online Sports Highlights, presented by Juice It Up in Hesperia's Gateway Shopping Center.